my own. Are you all right? You don't seem so great to me. Is everything okay? You seem to be... Something seems to be on your mind. You know if you need my help, I am there. So it's not something then. Let me guess. Are you sick? You're feeling nauseous? Your stomach hurts. Well, that can be dealt with. I'll make you some tea. And meanwhile, I want you to rest and get yourself warm. That's all I'm going to ask from you. Thank you, darling. I know you've worked hard recently. All I want from you right now is to rest, and I'll take care of everything else. I'm going to get that tea from the kitchen. Give me a moment. Tell me, how does it taste? Is it good? You know, I could get you a heat pad. I don't know if I have one, but I think I got one for you. I'll check. Are you really sure you didn't mess up while eating? That could be it. Well, don't think about it too long. I've got it now. Just apply it to where it hurts. And you should be feeling fine soon. Now, when I told you I wanted you to come over, I didn't think it would be like this. Not that I particularly mind. But I've missed you, Ion. I'm sorry I did not notice you were feeling sick earlier. But next time, make sure to tell me right away. I don't mind. And I would only want to help you. You know that, correct? I'm glad to know. Now, let me tell you something. How long have you been feeling like this? Quite a while. Well, that's not healthy for you. It's very worrying. You might need to get that checked out. By a doctor. You're scared of them? Why is that? Doctors are here to help you, Ion. There is no reason to be scared of them. Sometimes it can feel scary. Or vulnerable. But I promise you in the end, it's for your own good. That may be a scary ten minutes for you. But in the end, in the many other minutes that you will spend ahead in the future, you will know it was worth it. Correct? I'm glad to know you agree. If you won't, next time you need to visit one, and I hope that's not soon, I could come along to comfort you and to make you feel like you're not alone. You'll never be alone as long as I'm here, Wyan. I need you to know that and be sure of it too. Things can be scary sometimes, but if you ever feel that way about something, remember that I'm with you. And I'm always willing to be there. All you need is to be honest with me. And to tell me when you need me. That's all in love I want. All I ask from you. I know it may seem like a lot. But it's for your own good. And for our own good as well. I don't want anything bad happening to you. I would be very upset and sad. If that ever happened, you wouldn't want that, would you? Thank you, Ion. I know you would understand. But, most importantly, right now, just focus on you. I'm telling you so you know in the future. What do you think of the tea? Did it help a little bit? I hope so. I'll make you another soon. They're good for you. I have read about this, that it could help with stomach pains. You do seem to get them quite a lot. It's worrying. Are you always like that? Is that just a thing with you? You know, maybe you should try to sort out your eating. Not eat a little bit less. But don't mess up the way that you eat. 
like that last time I saw you trying to eat chocolate before dinner. That's extremely bad for you. And it would cause you to get a stomachache. My darling, I know you love chocolate. And it's fine. I never said you couldn't eat it. I'm only telling you to eat things in the correct order at the very least. And try not to eat very late into the night. It could be very bad for you. I worry a lot. Maybe that's true. You could call me a mother hen all you want. But you're truly someone who needs to be worried about. You know what I mean, Wyan. You could be truly messy. And you need someone taking care of you. I'm not saying you're incapable of taking care of yourself. But you don't always make the best decisions. So sometimes, I feel as though I have to offer you my advice. But that's fine, right? Having someone you love is someone who you care about. It's the least I'm supposed to do. And supposed to feel. What about you, Ayan? Do you worry about me sometimes? Hmm. I guess that's fair. But... I don't want you worrying too much, especially when I have to fight. I'm not reckless, and most importantly, I have something very worth fighting for, and that is you. I want to live for you. I want to be with you, and that's why I know I will not lose, because I've got something that makes me want to go forward. That's how things are supposed to work. It took me a long time to learn this. But fighting just for the sake of it, or even fighting with a reason, it's nothing really comparable to fighting for someone that you love. I love you, and our love moves me to fight and to win. So that's why you don't need to worry. Do I look scary when I talk about fighting? Um, maybe I got too into it. Apologies. You know, we haven't eaten properly at all all day. Maybe I should make you something to eat later. Chicken soup? Maybe. I'll try. I haven't cooked it in a long time. But when I started dating you... Well, I've been trying to learn how to cook properly since. Thank you, Ayan. I mean, I don't think I'm a good cook. But if you think so, that's all I really need. Anyway, how are you feeling now? A bit better, yes. Well, I'm glad to know that. How about we cuddle too? I'll leave the soup to heat up. And I could cuddle with you. I know you don't want it right now. But maybe for later. You will need it either way. So just give me a moment. I'll be right back. Alright. It's on. And... By the way, Wyon. I'm really glad you stayed. Last night. I know you said you wanted to go. And I was the one who kept on telling you to stay. I know it was a difficult matter for you. And your family may not like it very much. But I promise you, I will talk to them. And it won't be a problem. I just... I just wanted to be with you. That's all, really. I love being in your presence, Wyan. And lately, with how busy I've been getting, it's almost impossible. But, I'm sure it will sort itself out soon. But you get what I want to say. Thank you so much. And I hope you will continue to do this more. They will get used to it in due time. They have to, after all. We, we are a couple. And soon we may be more than just dating. Is that correct? I'm glad you agree with me. I know it's too early for this. 
And that's why I agree with you that I should let things take their time. Things like these could not be rushed. And that's why we have to wait and be patient. Either way, I'm sure it will not be a wrong choice. Being with you forever is all I really want. And I'm sure that won't change anytime soon. But I want to ask you something. Would you want to live here? Or would you want a new house? You know, a place where we could start together. A place we could call our own. Both of them would be our own. But I'm worried about this. Whether or not you'd want a new place. You'd want here? Instead of anywhere else? It's not the best one. Besides, it does not have your own touch. I picked everything here. The furniture and the paint. Are you sure you want it? I would much rather like for you to put your touch in the house. So it can be ours and not just mine with you living in it. Well, you are correct. It will come with time, I'm sure. Maybe I'm just being dramatic about this. But I would really like for you to be involved. I want you to be with me. And to do things with me. I want you to integrate yourself in every part of my life. I don't think you understand the way I experience this. The emotion. It's so extreme, Wyan. It's as if my feelings for you are running through every part of me. And I can't control them. No matter what I do. Or what I want. Do you feel this? How my heart beats for you. How I would live and die for you. Just you say the word. That's what you mean to me. That's why... That's why it's so serious to me, Wylan. And I'm sorry for being that way. It's probably not what you need to hear right now. I know I said I would be patient. And I am. I will be. But I needed to be honest with you about what I feel. I can't hide those feelings inside of me. So I have to tell you how I feel. So you'll be able to understand what I do. Anyway, last night, you were wearing my shirt, and you said you liked that. Do you want it again? If it will make you happier, I'm glad. Alright, you can put it on. I'll look away. You want to put it on on top of your shirt? If that's what you want, are you feeling cold? Well, there is always another blanket if you need one. You know, it's been a long time since I felt sickness. We demons don't get sick, as you know. So it may be hard for me to understand, but I'm doing my best. So thank you for being patient with me. You know, I could read you a story if you need it. Are you sure? I don't mind reading you one. I know I'm not the best storyteller. But there was a book that I found a couple of days ago. Or my writer that you like. I bought it. And I had meant for it to be a gift during our next date. But I guess that's not necessary. You may need it now. Take it. There's no need to thank me, my aunt. You know that it's the least I would do for you. Is that not correct? No, but... What I said is what I mean. And when I told you all of that, I meant it. You know, I was wondering about something, actually. Have you told your family about your eventual move-in with me? I was wondering how they would react to that. Maybe not very well, but you need to get the idea across to them, so they can get used to that, before you actually come here. I know it can be a lot, 
and I know they can be a handful too. But I'll take good care of you, I am. Trust me when I say that. I want to be with you. I want to make you happy. And I'll do whatever I can to prove that to them. And you. I know they do not trust me for the right reasons. But I'll do my best. And you already trust me, don't you? Isn't that enough for them? Or do they not trust your judgment? Hmm. They just worry about you then. That's understandable. Besides, maybe it's their way of showing love. I know it can be very hard on you. How oh, they may not listen to you sometimes, but... What you need is their care and love. And as for the convincing part, I'll do that myself. I'll get them to see that I care for you and that you moving in with me is going to be a good thing for you. I know it will take some time. I'm patient. I don't mind waiting. I just want you to be happy. And if you care about their opinion, then I'll do my best to make them like me. If that makes you happy, then I'm doing it. You did not braid my hair today, by the way. Would you still like to do that? I know. I can already see that you're starting to feel better. So, maybe I thought you'd like to do it. It's gotten a little bit longer. I wonder if I should cut it, or trim it a little bit. You wouldn't want that. Do you like it this way? Then maybe I'll keep it. I like it when you braid my hair on. It brings me fond memories. I can't quite recall what time they are from, but it makes me happy. It makes my heart feel at peace. And that's a very difficult thing to do. But we still have a way of doing it. Isn't that amazing? There are many things that you do to me, Wayan. Without even realizing. But you're just like that. I don't think you understand the impact that you have on me. But that's okay. Besides... You, you are so, I don't know how to say this, but sometimes it feels as though you're meant to be. Is that even a thing? I wonder if two people can be fated to meet one day. If their lives are meant to be tied to one another, that could be us. Or rather, me. I see that you could do so much better than me, Moyan. There are many things that you could do. Many other people who would do so much for you. And things that you deserve that I may not be able to offer at times. And yet, you picked me in the end. And that's why I want to be worth it for you. Isn't that so? I don't know. Maybe you don't understand it very well. But I really want to try my best. Well, thank you. I'm not at my best yet, although you seem to think that I am. There are many things that I still want to give to you. For example, my love. I know that I say it a lot. I am not shy with my words, nor my actions. But when it comes to affection, I'm not really the best at it. It's very difficult for me. But I'm trying, and I hope you can see that. I'm glad you do. And I appreciate it too, Ion. I appreciate everything you do for me. Huh? I've distracted you. Oh, 
from the stomach pain. Well, I'm glad, and I aim to keep distracting you further until it completely goes away. But promise me to be careful with what you eat after. I mean, I certainly do not want to repeat of this so soon. Not that I mind spending time together like this, especially when you're so adorable. I'm just saying, for your own sake. Oh, I almost forgot. The soup. I'll go and check up on it. You just rest, alright? And I'll be back soon. I promise you that. <laughs>